I'm going to begin with this, uh, just just a lineup change uh, for Golden State. Steph Curry, 11 threes now in his last two games. He had a big finish in game three and then comes in game four. Looks very good in the second half. So moving forward, uh, y you might have said it best. Out, out, out in gold rush country, I, I think they, they might have found the mother load with this yeah. lineup. Well, the, the small lineup allowed them to really pick apart Cleveland's defense. They, they're con you know, really consistently double teaming Steph on his pick and rolls and now they have a small capable playmaker catching it on the short roll and just picking them apart so uh, Steve Kerr great adjustment now it's David Blatt's turn to say okay what can we do to counter their adjustment to make sure we have a much better night than we had tonight and, and you know one of the things that I think about at the end of game three uh, LeBron just a little subtle comment that he made um, he said that they he he was disappointed that they didn't finish the game off right and what that allowed to happen was Golden State to find a rhythm get their confidence Steph Curry got it going they were able to overcome a, a, a large deficit make the game winnable and now they carry that over into game four and uh, and now evened up the series and so now you know now they're kind of in a hole um, you know having given up a uh, home court advantage giving it back to Golden State and uh, you know he mentioned that and that's why you don't, you, when you have a team down, you want to keep them mm -hmm. down. You don't want to give them any glimmer of hope. All right, Mike, as you make your comment, we want to show a graphic of Andre Iguodala, first start of the season and, and what he came up with uh, tonight. We have regular season playoffs, and then in this game, he had nine in the first quarter. He gave them a, a tremendous spark, and Golden State was on their way. So what do you got for this or game five? Well, Michael mentioned earlier that he's been their most consistent player thus far throughout the playoffs. And, he certainly accepted the challenge of, of being on LeBron a good portion of the game defensively, but in the offensive end of the court, you know, what a great contribution from him tonight. Just what they needed. Lee coming in, making passes to open people, and then him being the open guy many times, knocking down key shots. But uh, one thing we need to remember, we've been talking about LeBron and his Herculean effort mm -hmm. up to this point, and that maybe it's all starting to get to him. David Blatt, before Kyrie went down, was only going with eight guys in the playoffs. Then Kyrie goes down, only going with seven guys in the playoffs. And we're sitting here wondering, why did all these guys, Della Vadova, Shumpert, J.R. Smith, all have terrible shooting performances? Maybe it's not only LeBron that's wearing down. Maybe it's the Cavalier team is wearing down, trying to play without love, without Kyrie and try to beat Golden State. That is a great point. 103-82, Golden State Warriors even up the series at two games apiece, and that means that the film room will be back in action following Game 5, and that will be Monday here on NBA TV.